Have you ever wondered how your brain manages to store all the information you encounter every day? It's a question that's puzzled scientists and philosophers for centuries, a riddle wrapped in the enigma of the human mind. The answer lies in the intricate web of memory, a process so complex yet so fundamental to our existence. The human mind is a marvel of nature, an organ so complex that we're still unraveling its mysteries. At the heart of this complexity is the function of memory. It's our personal hard drive, capturing and storing a lifetime of experiences. From the taste of your first ice cream to the sound of your favorite song, these memories shape our identities, influencing our likes, dislikes, and even our personalities. But what is memory really? It's more than just a storage unit. It's the brain's way of painting a picture of the world around us. Our brains capture bits of information through our senses, like the sight of a sunset or the smell of fresh coffee. These sensory inputs are then processed and stored as memories. When we recall these memories, it's like replaying a movie of our past experiences, complete with sights, sounds, smells and emotions. Memory is not just about the past though, it's also about the future. Our brains use past experiences to predict future events, guiding our decisions and behaviors. For instance, if you've ever burned your hand on a hot stove, your brain stores this painful memory and uses it as a warning the next time you're near a stove. Yet, memory is not always accurate. Sometimes our brains can play tricks on us, distorting past events or creating false memories. It's a phenomenon that's as fascinating as it is perplexing. So, how does our brain manage this incredible feat? That's the mystery we're about to uncover. From the neuroscience behind memory formation to the factors that influence our ability to remember, we'll delve into the intricate workings of the human mind. Understanding how the brain stores and retrieves information is a fascinating journey into the depths of human cognition. So brace yourself as we embark on this captivating exploration of the mystery of memory. Our brains can be likened to the world's most sophisticated storage system, an intricate network of neurons, synapses and neurotransmitters weaving together a myriad of memories. But how does this remarkable organ store and retrieve our experiences? Let's begin with the brain structure. Imagine your brain as a bustling city with different regions performing unique roles. The hippocampus, amygdala and neocortex play pivotal roles in memory processing. The hippocampus, located deep within the brain's medial temporal lobe, is like the brain's personal librarian. It helps in the formation, organization and storage of new memories. When we learn something new or experience something thrilling, the hippocampus is there, diligently cataloging each detail. Meanwhile, the amygdala, two almond-shaped clusters of nuclei, is the brain's emotional heart. It helps store memories with emotional components, especially fear. Ever wonder why you can remember exactly where you were and what you were doing during a traumatic event? You can thank your amygdala for that. Then there's the neocortex, the brain's outer layer, this is where most of our conscious thought occurs, and it's also where long-term memories are stored. The neocortex is like a vast library housing the rich tapestry of our lives. Now let's talk about the two types of memory, short-term and long-term. Short-term memory, also known as working memory, houses the information we're currently aware of or thinking about. It's like a mental notepad holding on to a few pieces of information temporarily, usually for about 20 to 30 seconds. Long-term memory, on the other hand, is like a vast storage unit, capable of holding on to information for days, weeks, years, or even a lifetime. When information moves from short-term to long-term memory, a process called consolidation, it becomes part of your knowledge base. The brain's intricate system of storing and retrieving information is what allows us to learn, grow, and interact with the world around us. Without it, we would be prisoners of the present, unable to use the lessons of the past to change our future. But how does a memory form in the first place? Well, it all starts with a process called encoding. Encoding is like the brain's method of taking notes. When we experience something, our brain converts this raw sensory data into a form it can understand and potentially store. This conversion can be based on how the information looks, sounds, or even how it makes us feel. Once encoded, the information needs to be stored, and this is where the brain's neurons come into play. 
Each neuron is like a tiny data storage unit, capable of holding a surprising amount of information. They achieve this through a network of connections with other neurons, known as synapses. It's a bit like a city, with each building representing a neuron and the streets between them representing synapses. The strength of these synaptic connections is crucial in determining whether a memory will stick around. If a connection is used frequently, it becomes stronger, and the memory it holds is more likely to be retained. This is called consolidation. Now, imagine that city again. The well-traveled streets, the ones you use every day to get to work or school, those are your consolidated memories. They're easy to find and navigate because you've strengthened them through repeated use. But the rarely used back alleys, those represent the memories that fade with time due to lack of consolidation. Finally, there's retrieval, the process of calling up a stored memory. This is like walking down the city streets and finding the building you're looking for. The stronger the connection, or the more often you've walked that route, the easier it is to recall the memory. So, in essence, the process of memory formation is a grand collaboration between encoding, consolidation, and retrieval, all orchestrated by a complex network of neurons and their synaptic connections. It's a fascinating, intricate process that's constantly happening right inside our heads. From a fleeting thought to a lifelong memory, this complex process underpins every aspect of our cognition. While our brains are incredibly powerful, our memories are not always perfect. This statement rings true for everyone. Our memory is a fascinating yet complex system that can be influenced by numerous factors. Let's delve into some of the factors that can affect memory. A key factor is sleep. Yes, you heard it right. Those all-nighters might not be the best strategy for retaining information. During sleep, our brains consolidate the information we've learned, strengthening our memory of it. So when sleep is shortchanged, our memory can take a hit. Stress is another factor that can play havoc with our memory. Chronic stress can damage the hippocampus, the part of the brain responsible for forming new memories and retrieving old ones. This can lead to memory loss or difficulty in memory recall. As we age, our cognitive abilities, including memory, can decline. This is a natural part of the aging process. However, some people may experience a more severe form of memory loss due to conditions like Alzheimer's disease, a type of dementia that causes problems with memory, thinking, and behavior. Amnesia is another memory disorder that can result in significant memory loss. It can be caused by many things, including brain injury, severe psychological stress, and certain diseases. People with amnesia often have difficulty forming new memories and may not be able to recall past events or experiences. While these factors may sound daunting, it's important to note that a healthy lifestyle can help maintain good memory function. Regular physical exercise, a balanced diet, mental stimulation, and social engagement have all been shown to support brain health and memory. In addition, managing stress through techniques like meditation, yoga, or simply taking time out for relaxation can also be beneficial for memory. And let's not forget the importance of a good night's sleep. Our memory is a delicate system, influenced by many factors and susceptible to various disruptions. Understanding these factors can help us take steps to protect and enhance our memory, enabling us to retain and retrieve information more effectively. So, how can we enhance our memory and make the most of this incredible brain function? Well, there are a few tried and true strategies. First off, repetition. It's simple, but effective. The more frequently we review information, the more likely it is to stick. Next, there's association. This involves linking new information to something that's already well established in our minds. It's kind of like creating mental shortcuts. Then there are mnemonic devices. These are tools that help us encode and retrieve information more efficiently. Think of acronyms, rhymes, or visual imagery. But enhancing memory isn't just about strategies. It's also about maintaining our brain health. Engaging in regular mental stimulation, like reading, puzzles, or learning a new skill, keeps our brains active and sharp. Likewise, regular physical exercise has been shown to improve cognitive functions, including memory. With the right techniques and habits, we can enhance our memory and harness its full potential. Let's recap what we've learned so far about the science of memory. In this journey through the corridors of the mind, we've unraveled the mystery of memory, a complex and captivating phenomenon. 
we've discovered that our brain, the master conductor of this symphony, plays a pivotal role in memory management. The brain storage system is a marvel of nature. It's not just some dusty attic where memories are stashed away. Instead, it is a dynamic, active, and ever-evolving process. We've delved into the process of memory formation, a remarkable dance of neurons firing in sync. Memories are not just created and stored, they are formed, consolidated, and retrieved. It's a three-step tango that our brains perform with astonishing precision. Information first enters our short-term memory before it is transferred to our long-term memory, where it's stored indefinitely. But the journey doesn't end there. We've also examined the various factors affecting memory. Stress, sleep, nutrition, and even our emotions play a significant role in how well we remember. It's a delicate balance, a tightrope walk that our brains navigate daily, and in the quest to improve our memory, we've explored strategies for enhancing it. From brain-boosting foods and regular exercise to mental exercises and adequate sleep, we've seen how simple lifestyle changes can significantly improve our memory. The science of memory is not just about understanding how we remember, it's about realizing the immense potential of our brains. It's about recognizing that every memory, every thought, every experience is a testament to the incredible capabilities of our minds. So, as we close this chapter, let's remember that our brains are more than just vessels for storing memories. They are the architects of our past, the curators of our present, and the visionaries of our future. The science of memory is a fascinating field, shedding light on the incredible capabilities of the human brain.